Model Guns in Japan Profiled by Lucifer7922 This video introduces a Japanese toy gun. The toy guns I introduce are called model guns in Japan. It is called a cap gun by the world standard, but I call it a model gun. This model gun is a product that Japanese toy gun maker Hudson started selling in 1981. The rapid fire of this model gun was introduced in detail in VZ61. English version. All the cartridges used at that time are custom products, and no standard cartridges are used. Therefore, this time, we used a standard cartridge and verified its effectiveness. Hudson is already out of business. As mentioned earlier, the test shot of this model gun is published in BZ61, English version. This is a re-edited version of the footage shot in 2008 this year. Currently, this model gun is displayed in my room, but I haven't tried it for about 10 years. This time I will test fire the standard cartridge, but before that, I operated the custom cartridge manually. Manual operation with a custom cartridge does not seem to be a problem. Now let's compare the internal structure of the custom cartridge and the standard cartridge. The brass custom cartridge has a structure that is a copy of the CP method of MGC. The custom cartridge made of titanium has a structure that simplifies processing by referring to the PFC method of Marushin Industry Co. Limited. The standard cartridge is similar to the CP method, but it is probable that it could not be completely copied due to patent restrictions. It is a very half-finished structure. In addition, there are several versions of standard cartridges. As far as I know, there are three types. The first is the cartridge on the left image. Probably an early model, but the shape of the piston is unclear. The second is the cartridge on the right image. I think the orange thing in the upper part is the packing. It is shown in the figure of the instruction manual that I own. And the cartridge I own. Perhaps this is the final shape. It is probable that we changed to use O-ring instead of packing. Looking at these three cartridges, I can see the makers stray. Now, let me explain why I didn't try to test fire the standard cartridge. First, the inner diameter of the cylinder is 5.59 mm. The outer diameter of the piston equipped with the O-ring is 5.39 mm, and internal pressure cannot be stored with this combination. In other words, I didn't try it because I knew it would fail. Did the manufacturer attach the O-ring knowing that it could not be used? I'm not sure, but it's probably yes. Then what should I do? I simply changed the O-ring. The dimensions are 2.5 mm inside diameter, 1.5 mm wire diameter, and 5.5 mm outside diameter. By the way, the accessories are actually measured, the inner diameter is 2.0 mm, the wire diameter is 1.5 mm, and the outer diameter is 5.0 mm. 
The outer diameter of the modified O-ring attached to the piston is 5.61 mm. This seems to be usable. It is necessary to device to fit this piston in the cylinder. It does not fit deeply in this state. Lightly push in with tweezers. The piston reaches the end of the cylinder. You can see the O-ring from the degassing hole. However, this is not perfect. This is because the combustion gas leaks from the threaded part. So I will add another O-ring. Inner diameter 4.0 mm, wire diameter 1 mm, outer diameter 6.0 mm. Attach this O-ring to the position shown in the image. Attach the O-ring to the piston and push it in with tweezers as before. Tighten the screws and you're done. Check the effect of the added O-ring. It was confirmed that the piston was pushed back. The cartridge is now ready. Now, in order to use the standard cartridge, the chamber and detonator need to be returned to the standard product. As you can see, the standard detonator is short. This is because the standard cartridge has a long piston. The surface roughness of the standard detonator is rough. I polished it there and as a result, it became thinner by about 0.2 mm. In addition, the magazine follower, recoil plate and recoil spring have also been returned to standard products. First, let's try it manually. I've ejected all the cartridges, but it's not a good move. I can't expect much, but I'll try shooting with semi-auto. The amount of retreat of the bolt is probably small. It has become a fully automatic movement. Also, the fourth cartridge did not eject. The added o-ring is swollen, which is evidence that the combustion gas has been prevented from leaking. If it were not for this o-ring, it would have been difficult to eject the cartridge. A large amount of burning residue remained inside the cartridge. The cause is that the degassing hole is too small. To be honest, I don't think it makes sense to continue. I'll try it again. Unfortunately, this time we will withdraw. In my opinion, standard cartridges can be used. However, it turned out that it was necessary to improve and adjust the main body to match the standard cartridge. It takes a lot of time to do this. Finally, I will list specific improvement items. The most important point is to bring the axis of the cartridge at the top of the magazine close to the axis of the chamber. This does not mean that the bullet guide should be sharpened significantly. The method I've tried before isn't the best. In addition, the extractor needs further improvement. 
Give me time to think. Thank you for watching until the end. See you soon. Goodbye.